Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for a discrete random variable. It refers to the question where we have the probability distribution function of a discrete random variable x and it is defined as where we have the probability distribution function with the piecewise function hx with the domain x is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Another function where we have 0 and with the domain otherwise. Find the value of h. So, in order to find the value of h, my suggestion is to build up the probability distribution table. So, here we have the random variable x with 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Refers to the probability where we have h, 2h, 3h, 4h, and finally 5h. In order to find the value of h refers to the information where we have noticed that it is a discrete random variable. So the summation for the probabilities must be equals to 1. So by referring to the table where we have to sum up the situation, h plus with 2h plus with 3h plus with 4h and finally we have 5h is equals to 1. Sum up the situation and we will have 15h is equals to 1. So h will be equal to 1 over 15. So next, what we have to do is to substitute the value of h into the situation. So in here, the properties of the situation would be 1 over 15, 2 over 15, 3 over 15, 4 over 15, and finally, we have 5 over 15. So kindly take notes that my suggestion would be Ignore the situation and no need to simplify so that it is easy for us to do the operation after this. So next, before we uh, further our discussion, my suggestion is to kindly have the cumulative distribution table as well. So we denoted it as capital F. So the meaning of cumulative distribution table for this question would be sum up the situation. So for F1, it would be 1 over 15. For F2, it would be sum up the Probabilities for random variable x is equal to 1 and x equals to 2. So it will become 3 over 15. Next, if the situation is f3, so meaning that we have to sum up the 1, 2 and 3. So it will become 6 over 15. Followed by where we have 10 over 15 and then finally we have 15 over 15 which is equal to 1. Refers to the question b. Hence, find the situation so kindly refers to the situation where we have the probabilities that x is equal to 1 or the 2. So the meaning 1 or 2 means that we have to add on x is equal to 1 and x equals to 2. So kindly substitute the value where we have 1 over 15 plus 2 over 15. So we will have the situation 3 over 15. If we simplify the situation and we will have 1 over 5. So that will be the probabilities for x equals to 1 or 2. So here we have alternative. If we are going to use the cumulative distribution, so we will have probabilities that x equals to 1 plus with the probabilities that x equals to 2. So it can be denoted as f2 as a conclusion. So referring to the table where we have f2 is equals to 3 over 15. So as a conclusion, the f2 is equals to 1 over Five. Next, Kylie refers to number two, where we have the probabilities that x is start from three to five. So by referring to the probability distribution table, which is red in color, so what we have to do is to sum up the situation x equals to three plus x is equals to four plus with x is equals to five. So substitute the value where we have 3 over 15 plus with 4 over 15 plus with 5 over 15. And if we sum up the situation and we will have 12 over 15, which can be represented as 4 over 5 or 0 0.8. So the situation can be referred to capital F or we can say the cumulative distribution table as well. So here we have the alternative. So the probabilities for x is greater or equals to 3 
and less than or equals to 5. So it can be denoted as capital F, 5. So the meanings of F5 means that we have to add on from 1 until 5. Minus refers to the situation. We no need to add on the 1 and 2. That's why we name it as F2. So it refers to the blue color distribution property. And we have 1 for F5 minus the F2, which, which is 3 over 15. Simplify the situation. And we have 15 minus 3 over 15. Finally, simplify the situation and we have 12 over 15. Can be simplified as 4 over 5 or 0 0.8. So here we are. And thanks for watching.